Do we really explode in the vacuum of space? In the film Outland, one of the astronauts explodes when they are exposed to the vacuum of space. And who remembers the scene from Mission to Mars where Tim Robbins' character instantly freezes when he takes his helmet off? Now, whilst exposing yourself to space would not be a good idea, your death would not be as instant as these films depict. In fact, it would take several minutes for you to die. The worst thing would be that the lack of air pressure up there would significantly reduce the temperature that liquids boil at. As our bodies contain so much water, it almost certainly turn to gas, which would expand under our skin. Expanding muscles would restrict blood flow to the heart and brain, and you'd be unconscious within 10 to 15 seconds. The vacuum of space would mean, of course, that any air in your lungs would instantly rush out, potentially rupturing them, and any water vapor left in your system would be pushed out that way too. Now, the boiling of the water in your system would cause you to cool, and your nose and your mouth would be the first things to start freezing. The rest of your body would slowly follow, and you'd be dead within two minutes. So where did this idea of instant exploding or instant freezing come from? Well, the truth is, I don't really know. Perhaps it's because we didn't know much, as much about the human body and space and vacuums back then, or perhaps it just makes for a better movie. All in all though, the truth is that we still would die, just not as graphically or as quickly as some may think. I've been Simon Dan, this has been another Misconception Mini, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I'm in the garden. Subscribe here. That's the subscribe button. More videos more videos. Enjoy!